YouTube. Tonight we're going to make fried noodles. And for that, you're going to need some ramen noodle. It can be any flavor, doesn't matter. I've got chicken and beef. I cook five packages only because I need a package separate. But I will use five packages of ramen noodles. In here, we have carrots diced up small, onions, peppers, and a little bit of celery. And you can use any vegetables that you like. Just make sure that they're cut small enough that you can cook them pretty quick because you want them all done about the same time. But you can use any kind. I've put broccoli in here, mushrooms in here. Uh, it, it just doesn't matter. We're also going to use some garlic and a pound of bacon that has been sliced. And that can be sliced however big you want your bacon to be. But to get us started, we are gonna boil the noodles first and get them out of the way. Um, you can boil them at the same time you start your um, bacon, but I have three tiny burners. So it just, it works easier just to go ahead and do the pot, the big pot on here drain them and just set them aside because they're going to get heated back up later. So we're going to bring this to a boil and then we'll cook our noodles. Okay, our water is at a boil. Sorry about the exhaust fan, but I've got a lot of steam I have to get out of here. It'll fog up my lens if it isn't already. Um, I did forget to tell you, you're going to need at least two or three eggs as well. But take your seasoning packet out of your ramen noodles. You don't want that in there right now. So our water's boiling. And we're going to go ahead and drop these in. See that? I forgot a seasoning packet. And it's a good idea to go ahead and open them while your water's coming to a boil. That way you don't have to try to stand there and get them all open and get the packet out of there. And I normally will get a spoon and kind of push them in. And then we're going to cook these for three minutes only. They should come back to a boil fairly quick. So we're going to let those boil for three minutes. And then we're going to drain them. So we'll come back whenever we get that done. Okay, our noodles have cooked for the three minutes and now we're gonna drain them. You don't wanna overcook these because they will get really mushy and stick together. And then you wanna rinse them with cold water. We're steaming up, lots of steam. And you definitely wanna rinse them or they will stick together. This also stops them from cooking anymore. Okay. We're going to rinse most of that water off of there. And we're just gonna set those aside and I normally just leave them here they're fine so we're gonna get started on the rest of the meal as you can see I'm using the same pan that we boiled the noodles in I rinsed it out and I mean it just boiled noodles so it's okay you're gonna kind of separate your bacon up a little bit just helps it fry a little bit more even This was some fatty bacon. Good thing to do with that kind of bacon. Put it in something. Not sure if you can see the bacon in there. A little bit. Like I said, I just kind of pull it apart. You can also just throw it in the pan and try to chop it apart with your spatula. 
I just find it works easier this way. Like I said, this is a, a pound of bacon just sliced. It helps actually if it's a little bit frozen when you slice it, but it doesn't have to be. You can also use your kitchen shears to cut it up as well. I know it looks like a lot of bacon, but it will cook down. You know how bacon shrinks. We are going to get this to frying up. want to get this bacon about halfway cooked. You don't want it all the way cooked because then it's way too crispy and it kind of gets hard. You want it about halfway and then we'll add the vegetables to it and by then it will have enough, uh, it will have released enough fat that you won't need to add any oil to saute your vegetables in this pan. So we'll come back whenever we get this bacon cooked about halfway. Okay, our bacon is just about halfway cooked, so we are going to add the vegetables. And like I said, we've got some carrots, two kinds of peppers, and a little bit of celery that I had. I normally like to have a lot more celery, but I opened up the fridge and there wasn't any in there. So we are going to stir this around and we're going to saute these, break up the onions and things a bit. And we'll saute these down to where we, we like ours a little less firm. We don't want total crunch. Uh, it's up to you. So whenever you get the vegetables to your desired texture, then we'll be ready to uh, move on from here. Now, we do go ahead and we take one of these packets, either the beef or the chicken, whichever one you prefer. I normally use the chicken for this. And we will open it up. You know, and if you don't want the salt in there, that's, you know, fine. But it does just add a little bit of extra flavor to it. But we'll sprinkle it on. And then we'll stir it up in here. Whoa, yeah. Okay. Don't drop the packet into the pan. And we'll just stir that up. And we're just going to let them, we're going to turn this up a bit, actually. We're going to let these saute for a little bit and get all the flavors kind of melded together and finish cooking that bacon because we do want it actually cooked. But if you fully cook it, by the time it cooks with the vegetables, then it's really hard and crunchy. You could finish the bacon and take it out. I mean, that's a choice that you could do. Um, I just prefer to dirty one pan. So that's what we're doing. We're going to um, need two eggs at least whenever this is done so you might want to get your eggs handy we will also add some garlic but we're going to wait a while because if we put it in too soon then it'll burn so we're going to wait on that we will come back here in oh i don't know probably a few minutes five minutes maybe it doesn't really take that long to uh, get this all cooked up to the texture that you want i know it looks like a lot of veggies but we like the veggies if you don't care for as many veggies and you want more noodles and more meat, then by all means, add less veggies. It's kind of up to you. Just depends on how much chopping you want to do and how many veggies you want. So we'll come back when our veggies are starting to cook down a bit and they're more to the texture that we like. Okay, we have got everything pretty much to our liking. I'm not quite sure how much down in the pan you can see, but you're going to scoop everything to the side. And I did drain some of the grease off because you don't want all that bacon grease in there. And then uh, I also added a tablespoon of crushed garlic. I forgot to show you, I'm sorry. So we're gonna push these to the side. And then we're going to put two eggs in the middle. We actually should have probably turned this down just a bit here. Put that in there. 
once you get them in there, then we're going to uh, scramble them up like in the center. Just kind of keep stirring them until they get kind of done. And you're going to get some of the veggies are going to come in on the side. That's fine. Once you get it kind of scrambled a little bit, then you can start bringing your other veggies in. And you're just going to stir them up until you get your egg totally cooked. And these vegetables give off a lot of water when they cook, so you will have, you know, a little bit of water down in there. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna get our egg to uh, be done. And we're gonna want to get our noodles ready to put in here. As soon as we think the egg is totally done. You can also strain some of that grease off before you put your vegetables in. And sometimes I do. It didn't look like I had that much, but in the end it was more than I wanted in here. And you could also take your bacon totally out, get rid of the bacon grease, and you know, just add a little bit of oil and saute them in some oil if you'd rather do olive oil or something like that. Okay, I think our egg is pretty much done. We're going to take our noodles. Oh, and they stuck a little bit on me, looks like. Not too bad, I guess. And you're just going to stir them around, and basically you're trying to heat back up those noodles. You can also break these noodles if you don't want them in one big mess. A lot of times I use a spaghetti strainer or spaghetti spoon to, to get them out of that kind of helps get the noodles apart so that you can, if you notice, you pick that up and you don't see any veggies. you got to kind of stir it around. So I'm going to finish stirring and get them all incorporated together. And we'll plate this up and show you what it looks like when it is all done. And here it is completed, all plated up. You've got bacon and veggies and eggs scattered in there. Put a little soy sauce on that and it is absolutely wonderful. It's even good left over the next day. Just make sure you don't overcook your noodles. But we're going to go eat. It is time for supper. Take care everybody. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.